It's a lie. 
fields of life. The fractals of light in the wine that have swirled of death. There's thunder in the wine, there's thunder in the wine. Oh, there's lightning in the wine. Oh, there's voices in the wine. Lightning, thunder.
can breathe again. I can breathe again. I can breathe again. I can breathe again. I can breathe again.
just weaving it through our soul and through our spirit and it's just every part of him that's just he, he wants to weave us together 
and um, just bring restoration. That's what I heard the Lord say, just to restore us to that first love, restore us to his heart, to that first voice that we heard, that we would remember that, that we would remember what he's spoken over us. So Father, we just thank you, God. We thank you for your goodness. We thank you, God, for weaving the fabric of your goodness and your love, Lord, through our hearts, through our lives, God. Just weaving it amongst us, Lord, God. We just, we just thank you, Father. Yes, Father. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Wow. Amen. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, guys. It was so good. Thank you, worship team. That was amazing. Well, we just want to welcome everyone here tonight. It's so good to have everybody here. This is like, I heard this is where they used to do services was down here. So this is like coming back for a lot of people. So what a blessing. Anyways, we just want to welcome. Anybody here? I think they said that first time that you've been here. Anybody here for the first time? Wow. Awesome. Welcome, you guys. So good to have you. Okay, so I'm going to uh, just want to do the offering. I just felt like that the Lord, you know, we had gone into a time of just celebrating, and the Lord wants us to be cheerful givers. So, um, <laughs> good order, yeah. so um, just prepare your, prepare your offering, and I just feel like that we need to celebrate as we come up here. And just be yeah. cheerful. Prepare, invite. Are we going to do offering up here? Yes, right. Baskets, 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 Baskets right, right, there. right there. Okay. So I'm going to just pray, and then we can just come. Okay? So, Father, we just thank you, God. We thank you, Lord, that we can be cheerful givers, Lord. God, that it's, we're just, we know that you are the overflowing, abundant God, Lord, that you're just overflowing in our lives. And so, Father, we just want to step into heaven, God, and pour it out, God, into the earth, Lord. Father, that as we receive from you, Father, that we just, we want to let it pass through and just be, be givers, Lord. Not only cheerful receivers, but cheerful givers, yeah, Lord. Yeah. So we thank you, Father. We just give you all the praise and glory. Thank you, Lord. Amen. So come if you have Patty offering to give. Text number. Oh, so here's the text number. Yes, if you want to text, we always forget this. So it's 425-441-3403. So everybody got that? 425-441-3403. Okay. Thank you, Lord. Wow. So we're excited. So come on up. Okay. So I want to just hand this over to Pastor Darren. Woohoo! Thank you. You're this leader. How's everyone doing tonight? You doing good? Yeah? You alive tonight? Is there a spirit within you? Alright, so then come bless his holy name. For he has done great things. That's cool. You guys might not know this. This, like, this is the church where I grew up. I grew up down, down here. This used to not be the basement. This used to be, this used to be the place, man. Like, this was like, this is it. Um, and stuff, and now and now we're back. And so we we just what we like we're like why why would you do this? Like you guys have such a nice sanctuary upstairs with real video cameras. Hello everyone online, good to see you. Oh take it, take it, take it. Take it. Um, <laughs> Lord, stretch out, yeah, stretch out, yeah, yeah, take it, guys, take it. Everybody heart. Um, because, 
environment's important, yeah? And there's just something about doing things different. And like, that's one of the, that's, that's what, how, how do you know that, uh, that sometimes different is better, not better is better? You know, and sometimes it's good to just begin to experiment um, uh, 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 and, and, and creating environments. And what we really wanted to do for the next three nights yeah. is we really wanted to create like an environment where, where there wasn't a stage and, and there wasn't um, big high ceilings. And, and there was just an opportunity for us just to really like be close and to be together. And, and, this, is just, and this is just so much fun um, uh, actually having the same configuration that we had um, back in the 80s. You know, <laughs> yeah, I guess that's cool. So, anyways, um, yeah. <laughs> the eighties are back. You know, um, actually, this is pretty cool. So, uh, in, in this morning's service, um, I was speaking about like Xerox machines and like how how God doesn't have Xerox machines; He does a new thing, right? And my son was sitting on the front row; he wasn't feeling very good. And behold, the whiteboard! <laughs> if somebody could help these guys get get through, that'd be awesome. Thank you. Um, so in the service today, I said, you know, God's doing a new thing. Remember not the former things, right? Like we don't need to go back to like, like 1994. And like, and Peter, my son, was sitting on the front row. He, has the, he, has, he was not feeling good. He was literally like wilting on the front row. And then he goes, he goes, we need to go back to the revival of 1702. And Andrew looked down at him and I was like, what? And so she, um, she Googled revival in 1702. And this is such a trip, you guys. It came up, the Queen Anne revival. Yeah. And everybody, everybody from the Seattle area, we have our own Queen Anne, right? But the Queen Anne revival, that does Queen Anne in Britain. And what it was is there was like a reformation of, architect, of architecture um, that started in a city and then it flooded to the whole nation. Is it? Yeah. Yeah, we have our own, we have our own Queen Anne um, in Seattle. And, uh, and so Dinah, our, our, one of our artists over, over here, her, her son Josiah, he was singing, just like he was singing the other day, 1702, 1702, 17. And Dinah was like, stop it. You know, she, she was like, I don't know what that's about, but stop it. And all of a sudden we were talking this morning about 1702. And then a, a man came up, I never met him before, it's his first time here. And, and, and I don't know if he's here tonight, but like, he, he's like a musicologist or something. And he came up to me and started giving me the, the history of sound. When a new sound is released, how that, how that sound begins to shape the arts and how that yeah. sh arts shape the culture. And so he began going through classical music and the era of class and what it, and what it did to the culture and uh, all the way to jazz and like the era where jazz was in its full kind of uh, uh, heyday within the U.S. and then what that did within the culture. And he's like, he's like, you guys, you got, that was very prophetic. He's like, there's a new sound yes. that's going to create a new art. It's going to create a new frequency and it's going to yeah. go out. It's going to change a city to, yeah. to, the, to yeah. the point where it goes out and it spreads to in, into a nation. But it always begins with the sound. Yeah. It always yeah. begins yeah. with the sound. And you're part of a sound tonight. You're, 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 you're a part of the sound. I, I, how, let's just do a big... <laughs> I didn't even tell you what I was going to say, but you were like, oh. no, I was going to say, let's, let's make some sound for Elizabeth Cooper, who led us into a sound. Okay, just one more story. I, I know there's lots of churches and lots of movements, but we had a good time this morning. Uh, in, in our, in our, I, I heard, like, the octave, you know, in, in eight. And, uh, and, so, and so we started singing. Yeah. An octave, like the low and high. Oh, 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 and our musicians led us into this, into the, into the octave, and into the eight, right, into the low and high, the old and the new. And then uh, Sandy got up and began to declare about the eight and about eternity and about the new beginning, and that we were singing over the, the new. Oh, yeah. oh, and I'm telling you, it was a new sound. Yeah, yeah. 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 It, was, it was a freaky sound. There's a new sound, and you're a part of it. Just say, I'm a part of it. I'm yeah. part of it. You're, you're a part of it. Yeah. You're a part of it. Yeah, 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 yes, you are. You're a part of it. Yes, there's a new sound here tonight. God's going to release some new sounds tonight. Yeah, 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 yeah. He is. Yes, 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 yes. Anyways. That was good. That was enough time. Look, this is like the original pulpit from the 80s. 
the plexiglass pulpits are coming back. Yeah. These are problems that need to come back. some ferns. Anyways, like one, one more time. Let's just make, let's make a sound. Why don't you stand up and let's just make a sound. Just, be, let's just lift up your voice and, and just, just begin to make a sound in this place. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. of our youthfulness being restored. We bless this place on the rising up on, on wings of eagles. We thank you, Father, for this place of union and communion. Father, we bless it now. We, we, we ask that it be sanctified, it be set aside, that it be holy. We thank you that you're doing a holy thing in this place tonight. You're doing a, a wonderful work. And we glorify your name in all the earth. In Jesus' name, Amen. everybody said. Amen. Amen. Let's give a shout of praise for Jesus as we honor Justin Abraham. Come on.
know, it's funny, you know, Colossians says, pursue with diligence the consequence of being co-included in Christ. There are consequences to co-inclusion. And one of those is that you start to live in a different world. Yeah. So you're in the world, but not of the world. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And, you know, for many, many years, we've been asking to see, we've been asking to go to heaven. We've got to realize that when you start to do that, everything changes. Yeah, yeah. You know, 2 Corinthians 5, 17. For if anyone's in Christ, they're in a brand new world. Yeah. So this world is made up of angels and saints, courtrooms and scrolls. Yeah. And it's all functioning here right now. And um, the first time I ever came here to this church, this is not my message, but I just feel like the Lord wants me to say this. Um, when I walked into the sanctuary, I was really surprised to see an energy being vibrated colours and waves into the room. The room was empty at the time. And I went and stood under it and I was caught up into this angel. And I learnt about the courtroom of heaven functions in the laughter of God. Wow, just it says that he sits in the heavens and laughs and then judges. Yeah. Wow, just and every time you engage the courtroom, what you've done is you've turned into the laughter of God that's in the cosmos. And it becomes a courtroom for you to have justice. Wow. Yeah. So in other words, it's in waveform, and when you turn into it, it becomes particle. So God's laughter is booming through creation. Oh, 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 oh. Yeah. <laughs> it sits in the heavens and laughs. Oh, oh, oh. And it goes right through this space. And when someone needs needs help, yeah. they turn yeah. into it and it forms yeah. a house around them. Yeah. Wow. Where he sits wow. as a judge yeah. wow. to give you what you need wow. from his joy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So the kingdom of heaven is at hand and it's in you and through you. When you turn into it, it becomes the source of your supply. Yes. Yeah, that's good. So I learned that from your angel. Wow. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> so I think we should talk to angels more. Yes, yes. yes. That's right, that's right. Come on. That's right. Come on. <laughs> but this angel breaker, like the breaking of many waters, you know, there's a few different words for breaker. You know, this is an interesting thing. I'm just going to teach you briefly how angels work with you. This will help you. The angel of the church carries a breaker anointing like the breaking of many waters. Okay? Now, when you look up the word breakout, it, there's a number of words for it. But parats or bel perizim or galal, right? So there's different names for it in scripture. But to break out means this. It means, th and this is the anointing on the house. So all you have to understand is this is why the book of Revelation. When he was writing to the churches, he wrote to the angels. Yeah. Why does he write to the angels when he, when he should be addressing the pastors? Because when you understand the angelic structures, you realize that a person and an angel interface with Jesus to form a bench of three that governs a house. It's all based around the pattern of the Trinity, the was, is, and is to come. The Aleph is the beginning, it's made of three. So when you begin to move in ministry, you actually form a house with Jesus, mm. you and an angel. Mm. Some will have an angel that functions in prophecy, or, and there'll be angels that are, that are yeah, attached right, to that. Right, right, so right, right. when you yeah. see the angel of the house, yeah. and you yeah. describe the angel of the house, right. Breaker, right, right. Galal, uh -huh. Galal's an interesting thing, because it means the gimel, which is the full supply of heaven, mm -hmm. the third, it's the third letter, the gimel means the full to the brim from the above. It's the fullness of God. It's the camel help. Wow. And the other two letters in Galal, which is one of the names for these type of angels, is a double lightning strike, which wow. is double lamed. Wow. Lamed is the highest letter that reaches up into the heavens. Wow. So the angel functions from the full to the brim to bring the lightning strikes from above wow. <laughs> into this dimension. So when you look at the word parats, which is another word for the, these angels, it means this, to break through or down or over, to burst, to breach. To break or burst out from a womb or an enclosure, to break through or down, to make a breach in, to break into, to break open, to break up, to break into pieces, to wow. break out wow. violently, wow. 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 to wow. break over limits, to increase, yes. to yes. multiply, to grow, to use violence, to yeah. burst open, to spread, yeah. to distribute, to yeah. break through and break yes. away. Yes, 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 yes. 
So the angel is like a, a it's, it's, it's partially solid or, and partially frequency, it's both. Its actual head is in the heavens and it always sees God and it's full of joy. But it forms a, a, a cascade effect, like a Niagara that moves down like that and it releases the breaking of many waters into the region. So I forgot completely about this angel when I came on the plane. I was just thinking about the meeting. I didn't even think about the angel, didn't give it a thought. And when I landed at the airport, one of its energy filaments or particle waves enveloped me and kind of shook my hands. And then I went, I've arrived. <laughs> See, we've got to start to be in the real world. We can't be still debating whether we're seeing and stuff. We need to engage. The way you engage is by opening your heart. Yes. See, when I felt that angel, I could have gone, hmm, I've seen an angel. That's what most people in the prophetic move do. It's like, oh, I've seen an angel. I'll take that in my journal. I'm done with that. Yeah, 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 yeah. You know, that gets boring after a while saying I saw something. Yeah. You're not meant to see something, you're meant to be in something. Yes. Yes. See, Jesus, you know, you, you're meant to engage the reality and the substance of what the angels Whoa. actually do. I don't care how many we see, let's be participate yeah. in what they're actually doing. The same with the cloud of witnesses, you know? Wow. So, okay, the way that the angel functions, this, this breaking out, bursting forth, is, is the mantle. When I met Breaker, he, he looked around the room and I could see this big happy face. Imagine this beautiful happy face, yeah. but with colours of energy, waves and breakers. Yeah, yes, yes. And full of joy, because yeah. he sits in the face of the Father. And he looked around the room and went, I am really happy with what's about to happen here. And he said, this place is going to expand, he said. And soon after that, you had the outbreak with Charlie Shamp, which I wasn't yeah. surprised about because I saw that coming. Yeah, yeah. Because connected to this angel is hundreds of these golden angels that are ministering spirits that carry healing and glory and creative miracles. See, what you find with an angel, often they have other angels that work with them. Everybody okay? Oh, yeah. Am I going too far no, no, out? No, 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 no. Come on. I'm just, Come on. okay, so just through, true? Yes. yes. This angel is also a breaker angel. So who's the third part in that? It's, it's Darren. Amen. <laughs> it's yes. a description of yes. what he is entangled into. Yes. Wow. It reflects him. Wow. And the, and the dis distribution of the nature of Messiah that was written into his scroll. So the house that forms around you is connected to the inner house and the space that you've given in your heart for the reality of substance of heaven to sit. Mm -hmm. yeah. So it has to have space here for it to manifest there. So it looks to the shadow of itself to manifest. Yes, yes. But it's, that's what, what, what Darren carries. That's why he's got so much energy. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> this guy's never going to burn out. Right. He's tapped into the cascade of Niagara Falls that's coming from the justice system of heaven. And he's beyond human. That's why, you know, all these colors and stuff are coming off it. He can do everything. He can rap. <laughs> he can write, write books, he can do comedy. <laughs> so, you know, there are many examples of this in, in history. You've got like Patrick, yeah. and he had Victor. Yeah, yeah. But who is really the victory? Come on. Yeshua. Yeah. So, you see, again, a bench of three. It's always forming these benches of three. Yeah. If two or three agree on anything, yes. it can be established. Yes. Yes. Yeah. Yes. So, you've got to learn who our house is and who works with us. Yeah, that's right. Just... Oh, anyway, uh, this yeah, wasn't really my yeah, message. Yeah, I'm just trying to awesome. teach you that. Because, awesome. yeah. 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 you know, we've got to realize there's a lot right. happening. Yeah, right. Go there. And yeah. just the, yeah. the way you see everything yeah. is through yeah. love. Yeah, yeah. That's, right. Yeah. that's right. That's right. You should never pursue seeing. Yeah. Yeah. Pursue yeah. love. Right. Come, on. Yeah. Come, on. Come on. You will never start seeing angels by just going, I want to see angels. Yeah. Right. You, what yeah. happens is, is you're working, you're working, you're working. You might see a little bit and be happy, but that's it. But if you say, Lord, I want to love yes, angels, I yes, want to love yes, your, what yes, you yes, love. Yes, 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 yes. That's why religion contends over love, loving these things. Uh -huh. Because love is the gateway to sight. Yes, yes. What you love, you can behold. Yes, yes, yes. 
Yeah. Or to put it another way, yeah, yeah, your yeah. spirit will follow your heart. Yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah that's, good. that's good. Where your treasure, or to put it another way, where your treasure is, your heart will go. So when I saw that angel, That's I good. could have just yeah. dismissed it's it and good. gone, I've had a nice good. vision. I saw your angel. Yeah. Wow. But I went onto that stage with no one in the room, mm. and I let it envelop me, and I honoured it, and I was grateful. Thankfulness is an open door yes. to more. Yes. 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 It's been so grateful. Rather than just being like, you know, like uh, Jean Goyon used to say, accept what you've been given. Enjoy it. So I was enjoying the sweetness. I wasn't trying to make an ascension experience where I learned about the courts of heaven being laughter through creation. Right, right, right. But I was honouring, in the little there is much. That's right. Mm -hmm. When you honour that tiny sense of an angelic presence, you, you begin to open up a realm beyond your imagination, yeah. beyond your wildest dreams. Yeah, that's good. So... Come on, come on. Thank you, Father. Yeah, yeah, come on. I'm trying to speak. Yeah. It's come difficult. On. <laughs> Come on, donkey. <laughs> <laughs> so it's good to be back. Oh, yeah. Wow. You know, and then there's the implication of the cloud of witnesses. Yeah. Now let's just say this. The people mess up, right? Mm. But they're now in perfection. Yeah. Right? And often people, when they go to the cloud of witnesses, they realize some of the mistakes they made, <laughs> but they're allowed to witness what they sowed into. Wow. Mm -hmm. And you know, your dad is so present in the spirit, yeah. so proud over you, yeah. you know, because, you know, he's in the cloud of witnesses. I, I knew yeah. Darren's dad. Yeah. He, he was an unusual man, <laughs> <laughs> but did he carry some glory, that guy? Yeah, he did. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, I saw crazy stuff around him. Yeah. But again, I forgot about your dad wow. in here. Yeah. But immediately in here, he's present in the spirit, going, yes, Darren. Yes. This is my son. You call him well pleased. And he just sees you so clearly and who you are. And he is so thrilled just even to be able to witness and participate yeah. in this realm. Yeah. So I honor Breaker. Yeah. Lord, I honor. You know, your dad, Daryl. Yeah, thank you. Yeah. And I yeah. thank you for the protocol of heaven. We come into yeah. the protocols of heaven. We come into the government yeah. of heaven. Yeah. See, we yeah. can't get with where we're going without opening up our hearts. Come on. We have to open them up to the angels. We have to open them up to the cloud of witnesses and everything else. Amen. <laughs> <laughs> That's in his house, the father's house. Yeah. Yes. There's a lot in his house. It's pretty big. Mm -hmm. huh. The whole cosmos is his house, just as a clue, because it starts with better sheep, which means to create a house or a family. Wow. So creation is wow. a family or wow. the theatre of God's right. glory. Awesome. Yeah. Awesome. 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 So you're inheriting all that Jesus right. is, Jesus is yes. so there's a yeah. lot going on. Yeah. 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 So your heart, your heart is determining the size of your sight. Mm. So we need to expand our hearts and make them bigger to see. Don't pursue sight, pursue a big heart. That's yeah, good. So good. Yeah, that's really good. Yeah. Yeah. Sight is the fruit of your heart. Yeah. Mm. Wow. Yeah, that's good. So remember, John was in the spirit on the Lord's Day, enjoying. Mm. His heart was massive. Yeah. So he could have a revelation of yeah. history. Yeah. Yeah. So the more you enjoy him, yeah. the more you will behold him. Amen. Amen. Or to put it another way, delight yourself in the Lord, and He will yes. give you the desires yes. of your heart. Yes. The degree that you enjoy God is the degree that you'll see Come on. God. Come on. Come on. Yes. Yeah. You yeah. don't yeah. see God by pursuing seeing God. That's right. You see God by enjoying That's, God. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Yeah. Because the size of your enjoyment is the platform which you can rest on. Uh, so good. So good. Everybody okay? Yes. <laughs> I don't know what a good meeting looks like yeah. anymore. I'm going past that. I'm looking for a good cosmos right now. Doing good. Doing so, good. Kava. Let's get on to Kava now. Yeah. Kava. So, can you guys hear me teach on this? Kava. Yeah. It's the word in scripture that those who trust or wait on the Lord will oh. renew their strength. Trust is such a, such a bad translation, it's unbelievable, it's almost an insult. It's actually the word entangle. Those who entangle into God and go into union with Him, 
is the equivalent of Deuteronomy 30.20. It says, Love the Lord your God, that you may obey his voice, and that you may cling to him, for he is your life and the length of your days. Notice something. It says, if you cling to him, he can be your life and length of days. How old is God? Don't skip over the promises of Scripture just because they're beyond our wildest dreams. <laughs> so the word there is, is devak, which means entangle. It's the same as kavar. So those who kavar in the Lord will renew their strength. Those who cling to the Lord will have his length of days and his life. This is what happened to Enoch. It says Enoch walked with God and God took him. What does walk mean? It means he consciously chose to entangle himself in yeah. the presence of oh. God every day and chose not to live outside of that. Yeah. See, if every time we choose to live outside of that, we live under the record of death and decay because he's the vine, you're the branch. You have to remain in yeah. union. The one thing we should teach more than anything else is practice in the presence of God. Yeah. Yeah. We should not need renewals. Come on. We should not yeah. need revivals. That's right. They That's are... Right. They are a demonstration of the absence of union. Yeah. 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 Yes. Yes. Wow. Wow. It's true. It's true. It's true. <laughs> they need revival. Yeah. Yeah. That's the yeah. outflow. Well, you shouldn't. Yeah. If you need revival, it means you keep disconnected from Kabar and union with God. Mm. And that's a choice that you've made because yeah. he's already in you and you're in him. But in your mind, you've, you've created distance. Wow. For he said, I will never leave you nor forsake you. So who forsook who? Yeah. <laughs> God never hid from Adam. That's right. That's right. That's right. Wow. Okay. Is this okay? I know it's elementary. Yeah. Everything in our account is beyond our wildest dreams, but we can't make a withdrawal if we don't know it exists. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. In other words, what we permission, we commission. Mm -hmm. Or our dialect determines our destiny. Okay, I'll, let me say another word, quick, to try and get you to understand this. Is that a message creates reality. And the message you carry will create the reality that you live yes. in because life and death is in the power of the tongue. Yeah. In other words, yeah. you construct the world around you. Yeah. Or to put it another way, as a man thinks in his heart, so he is. Yeah. So your thoughts and speech are determining the reality that you live in. Yeah. So what kind of reality are we living in? That's right, that's right, that's right. Yeah. It's good to see you guys. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like my marriage is getting blessed just for seeing it. <laughs> These guys can put va va boom in your marriage. <laughs> oh, can you guys hold me in your heart? Because you know I can only go as deep as you pull in. Yeah. 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 I'm not feeling enough of. Yeah. <laughs> so the mass is really important when you're yeah. engaging the spirit realm. Yeah. If you start engaging the spirit realm, I'm terrible at maths, but you start to find maths. Yeah. The maths for Kavar is 111. Because the the Kof is 100, the Vav is 6. And the hay is five. Yeah. Anyone be seen one one one? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, wow. Wow. Yeah. Wow. <coughs> and again, we have then three operating as one. Yeah. The yeah. 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 Right. And you, you'll yeah. see threes right. everywhere. You'll see maths. Yeah. See, if you stop to understand yeah. maths, you start yeah. to get it. So what does Kavar, uh, Kavar mean? Well, the first letter is the cough, and it represents... Someone that chooses to abandon the animal nature. Wow. Mm -hmm. So the symbol for this letter is a monkey. And the challenge is, it's also the first letter of holiness, Kadosh. The challenge is when you reach up to the upper world beyond your animal nature. Wow. 
God. Mm. So this top part of the letter represents God overshadowing, calling you up. Wow. This wow. bottom part represents someone who dares to go like that. Wow. Yeah. So it begins with a leap of faith into a higher dimension. Yeah. That's awesome. Yeah, 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 That's, awesome. Yeah. That's awesome. So entangling into God is a leap of faith saying, I want to leave yes. the physical domain yes. Yes. of limitation and yes. lack. And I dare to believe God has gone like that. Wow. Yeah, 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 into yeah. me. Yeah, yeah. Awesome. And live in me. Awesome. So it begins with a leap of faith, and then you find the Vav. The Vav is the connected connection point to higher dimensional realities. Whoa. So the Vav is the number six. It represents Jesus or Jacob's ladder. Mm. It means the hook or peg. It means and. It's the connection point between the, the energy above into the energies below. Wow. It's the point where, where energy from heaven can be embodied in your form. In Jesus. Yeah, that's so true. Jesus sits in the middle of Kavai, right. even as he sits in the middle of God's name, Yod, Hey, Vav, Hey. Right, right, right. So inside God's name is Jesus sitting there as Jacob's ladder to call you up and connect you to yeah. the higher energies. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Wow. And then we have Hey, which is the great grace, the number five. And Hey means to come back into the breath of life. And it means to be restored back to your design. Wow, awesome. It is an open house of grace, and the symbol of it is someone disturbed with awe and wonder. <laughs> what happened to Abraham and Sarah? Oh, yeah, yeah. The hay was put in their names. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So the fruit of entangling into God is that your body starts to participate in the age to come. Wow. This is why we can no longer have separation theology. Even yeah. songs, yeah. Come on, come on, come where on. you say, God, you need to come, yeah. right, right. you create death in someone's body. Wow. Because the degree that you honor separation is the degree that decay is given permission to exist in your body. Wow. All the songs have to change. This, I really enjoyed tonight because the songs corresponded and arced with the message. Yeah, yeah. That he's, yeah. There's life. Yeah, yeah, yeah. See, what we sing will create realities. That's true. And we can't keep singing these old songs, God, you've got to come and help us, revive us, because that creates death. Yeah. Um, They're nice songs, but your body needs to hear a right, better right, message. Right, 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 right. Because your body, see, there has to be a generation like Enoch where the body's included, which says, I'll pour out my spirit on flesh. I'll renew your strength like that of a wild ox. Enoch was a blueprint and a pattern of a person that decided yes. my body should be included in the bliss. Come on, yeah, yeah. Come on, come on. Yeah. My body should be included. My body should be included because yeah. why? Because yeah. your, your body yeah. is the most valuable thing in yeah. all of creation. Yeah, it is the right. temple of the it's Holy true. Spirit. It's true. It's true. It is not a waste of space. Come it on. is not easily discarded. Yeah. We, should, we should be trying to discover how do we regenerate it. Because Kavar says those who Kavar in the Lord will regenerate their strength. They will run and not grow weary. They will yeah. walk yeah. and not be faint. Yeah. So hidden within clinging to God, engaging His name, is the capacity to regenerate the human body. Amen. Amen. Yeah. And many of the saints have done this, and the immortal ones are upon the earth. And we need to be talking about yes, this because yes, we're yes, from yes, the future. Yes, 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 right. yes. See, if yeah. anyone's in Christ, you're a new creation. creation. You're not from yes, this creation. Yes, yes, this yes, is the yes, creation yes, where death has yes, cast its right, shadow. Right, 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 right. But it says in Scripture, where death has cast its shadow, they shall see a great light. Yeah. Yeah. What is light? It says, with you is the fountain of, of life. In your light we see light. Yeah. You have the light of life. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah. Yeah. where death has cast its shadow, so death's a shadow, not a substance, mm -hmm. it's already been defeated. Yes. Yeah. Yes. 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 yes, that's right. That's yeah. right. Why is yeah. then death functioning in the earth right. when it's been defeated at the cross? Yeah. Yeah. 2 Timothy 1.10 says yeah. that he abolished death. Yeah. Yes. Then why are we still dying? Right. Yeah. Mm. Because we're honoring it. Because we're saying, that's how I get to heaven. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so we are making it the most powerful yeah, force yeah. in the earth. Wow. And we are glorifying it. Because what you honor, you'll attract. Yeah. 
Yes. And we've said, when I die, I'll see angels. When I die, I'll go to heaven. When I die, I'll walk with the saints. When I die, I'll see the mysteries. When I die, I'll understand the scrolls. When I die, I'll go in the throne. And we, we, every time we say, we empower this structure around us in creation called death. Because we're the gates and we're the doors. And what we lose is loose. What we bind, we bind. What we proclaim, we create. And we be religion is the ultimate death, death cult. Yeah. Wow. 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 That's why people bury the dead around churches because it's where it's been honoured and it forced magnetism and it drew death to itself. That's crazy. Because what you honour, you will draw towards you. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> Come on. This is a huge shift that's going yes, on. You guys yes, have to realise yes, where we are on the timeline. Yes. We're at the time of the great intervention where we're going into the age to come. Yeah. I mean, this whole planet is going to be changed. Yeah, There's so much yeah, I can yeah. tell you about what is going on. Why are people lifespans going up all over the years? Yeah. Do you know just today, this is a statistical fact based on the last 30 years, just today your lifespan went up by 8 hours. If you manage to get through today, congratulations, you just gained another eight hours. People being born now have got a predicted lifespan of between 200 and 400 years of age. The medical, global medical community wants to reclassify aging as a disease yeah, so they can try and cure true. it. That's true. That's true. Google wants to solve death. Right. Right, right, right. But what if Jesus already did this? Yeah. <laughs> it's like, yeah. I'm just going to run through a few clues, right? Yeah. <laughs> you, you can join in with me on this, right? There you go. Same came to kill, kill, yeah. destroy. Yeah. Boo. Yeah. I came, Jesus said, that you might enjoy life. And life in abundance, the word Zoe life is the life to the same quality as God's got. Yeah. And then the word abundance is perisos, like perisos. Yeah. And it means beyond all that is necessary and it's superfluous. It's, it's, it's the extreme beyond what you'll ever need. Yeah. So Jesus, and that's what Enoch tapped into. That's what Elijah's tapped into. That's what Moses had. Yeah. At 120, yeah. he did not look old. Yeah. Scripture said, my body is young. He had the body yeah. and yeah. face of a young man. You can draw him looking all old and as much as you want or have films like that, but that's not what you look like. Yeah. Yeah. Right, right. That's right. That's right. That's pretty strong stuff, yeah. isn't it? When God has to kill you, all this guy's going to go on and on. <laughs> and then God still gave him his body back. Yeah. Because yeah. yeah. he just breaks his own rules for love. How do we know he got his body back? Because the angel fought over his body, it says in the book of Jude. Why would the angel fight over his body? Because there's a lot of glory on it. And also, he knew what it was. That it was the technology for Moses to access all the dimensions in the cosmos. And that on the timeline, Moses was going to appear with Elijah in the future. Oh. The wages of sin is death, but, however, good news, the gift of God is life. For the law of the spirit of life in Jesus Christ has set me free from the law of sin and death. For who preaches that? Why, why do not people not preach that? They say, come to Jesus tonight and he'll forgive you of all your sins. Right, right, right. A day is coming sooner than we think yeah. where we will see regeneration of the human genome. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And it's in scripture. Yeah. Where it won't be just come and be saved, enter into life. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. How about this? John 3.16, for God so loved the world that he gave his own son. Whoever believes in him will not perish. Yeah, yeah. That word perish means be subject to the effects of death. But we'll have everlasting life. What's the word there? Aeonias, which means perpetuity, life without end. It doesn't say die, then have life. And he says it twice, actually. John 3, 15, John 3, 16. I came that you might have life. There are two trees in the garden. Life 
and the knowledge of good and evil. Yeah. We keep eating of the tree of the good and evil because yeah. we keep talking about sin. Right, right, right. Yeah. Because when you start talking about how good am I doing, yeah, right. what tree are you eating from? Right, 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 right. That's why immortality functions through innocence. Wow, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah it's awesome. Most of these books awesome. frame up death. Yeah. Because they honor the sin condition, which uh -huh. is the tree of the knowledge of good and evil. Am I good or am I evil? Am I good or am I evil? Okay. Dying. Yeah. Huh. Yeah, come on, Jessica. Yeah, come on. This is why God's trying to bring great grace as the predominant preaching in our generation. Yes, yes, yes. yes. It says God's house will be built with shouts of grace unto it and grace unto right, it. Right, right. Yeah. Why is God trying to bring grace? And people react to going, it's hyper grace. Right, right. <laughs> hyper grace, beware. <laughs> Beware! Stand over here and just realize how bad you are, and let's all lie about our secret habits. Right. Because <laughs> we're still trying to do a cover up. Yeah, that's right. That's right. How about we say we've all screwed up, we've all that's failed, right. this is the right. gospel. Right. I have no righteousness of my own. It's purely a gift, yeah, and now a righteousness yeah. from God has appeared. Yeah. Yeah. How come that that's what triggered D Abraham's DNA? Righteousness apart from law. Yeah. Yeah. We, we see law. What, what is the fruit of law? Death. Yeah. How do we know yeah. that? Because it says in Exodus, that uh, it says in sorry Hebrews or wherever it is that Paul discusses this, he says that Moses was given the ministry of condemnation and death. Yeah. Mm. Imagine God appears to you and says, I'm going to give you a very successful ministry. Yeah. <laughs> it's going to be hugely successful. What's the impartation? It's called the ministry of condemnation and yeah. of death. Yeah. Yeah. Read the scriptures for yourself. Right. Yeah. The law is the ministry of condemnation and death. Yeah. 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 That for me yeah. sounds predominantly what people think of when they think of church, yeah. when they think of... Yeah. And it produces death. Yeah. But it says that had glory on it. That's why people are still attracted to it, because there's glory on it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because yeah, even the yeah, law has got yeah. glory yeah, on yeah. it. <laughs> but it says, we've now been given the law of the spirit of life in Jesus Christ that set us free yeah, yeah, from yeah. the law of sin and death. Yes. Yeah. So we need to learn a new law, the law of life. That's good. That's right, yeah. That's good. We need to learn the technology of life. That's right, yeah. Come on. And I would rather be an amateur in that and know nothing about it but start walking towards Come on. that yeah. than be an expert in the, the hag in drag. Yeah. <laughs> it, sorry, it, there's one translation where it calls e Egypt the hag. Oh. Yeah? Because Egypt is where they died. Yeah. 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 It's a Rodney Howard Brown phrase. Yeah. Forgive right. me. It's all right. He would go, religion is the hanging drag. <laughs> the skeleton on the front row with lipstick on her teeth. <laughs> religion, you drag around with you every Sunday. <laughs> it's the hair. <laughs> Sorry, I, I did enjoy Rodney. <laughs> Quite a lot. But he could be a bit rude. <laughs> Maybe we should give religion a kick in. Because yeah. Yeah. we don't owe it anything and we don't owe death anything. Right. Yeah. We, you know, we do not owe death anything. We don't have to be kind to death. We don't have to justify it. We don't have to be friends with it. You know, I've been reading through the church fathers trying to understand the whole thing of the Trinity, right? Yeah. So I've gone back to the early centuries and I've been reading Athanasius. This is what he said about death. Talk about Jesus said, taking a body like our own, because all of our bodies were liable to corruption of death, he, Jesus, surrendered his body to death instead for all, and offered it to the Father. He did this out of sheer love for us, so that in his death all might die. I'm reading from the third century. And the law of death thereby be abolished. It was thereafter voided of its power for all men. Thus, he would make death to disappear from them utterly as straw from fire. Wow. 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 Listen to what he continues. He says, Doubt no longer then, when you see death mocked and scorned by those who believe in Christ, wow. that wow. by Christ wow. 
death was destroyed yeah. and the corruption that goes with it resolved and brought to an end. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's awesome. That's mm -hmm. crazy cool. See, this has huge implications. This, yeah. What you have to realize is we're fighting a massive demonic structure here. Yeah, that's right. Because it's the same structure that says you can't talk to an angel. Wow. Yeah. That's right. You can't see the saints. You can't go to heaven. It's the same structure. Yes, yeah. yes. And people will go along with it yes. on the basis that maybe one day when I die, then I'll have it. Mm. What if we broke that narrative and yeah. said, yeah. 2 Corinthians 5.17, if anyone be in Christ, they are a new creation. What does the rest of us say? It says the old has gone. And if you look up the word old, old or it means archaic or everything as it was from the fall. And the kainos has come and the kainos new is new in form and quality like nothing ever seen before. See, Enoch tapped into this ahead of its time. You don't have to wait till everybody gets it to have it. Yeah, that's right. Yes, it's it always is. existed and, and it always has in the life of God that those who cling to the Lord, for I dare yeah. to believe that Enoch is a pattern for this generation because he's the number seven and seven means the end, which is the beginning yeah. and the end have to correspond. And that's why the Bible ends with John who couldn't die. Mm -hmm. You know, Tertullian right. writes about it, right, right, doesn't he? That the whole arena got saved because they couldn't kill John. Right, right. <laughs> that's right. Yeah. Yeah. They couldn't suffocate him, kill him, boil him, cut him. So they came up with an option, we'll have to put him on an island. Yeah. <laughs> That's how John got to Patmos. That's right, yeah. Isn't that awesome? Yes. Yeah, that's awesome. Yeah. Yeah. But why is that important? Because the beginning with Enoch and the end show where we're going. Mm -hmm. yeah. Because it's circular thinking. Yeah. It's Hebraic thinking. Yeah. It's understanding that there's a story that encapsulates yeah. the Bible. It begins with life. It yeah. begins with traveling through space and time. It begins with walking with angels. And it ends with walking with angels. It yeah. ends with, 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 with going through dimensions. Yeah. It right. ends that's right. That's right. That's right. with those walking with God and not seeing decay. Yeah. And I believe we're moving quickly towards that hour. That there is something that God wants to do in this generation that we have not understood. It's good. John G. Lake said this, there is, a, there is coming from heaven a new manifestation of the Holy Spirit in power. And that new manifestation will be in sweetness, in love, in tenderness, and in the power of the Spirit beyond anything your heart or mind ever saw. The very lightning of God will flash through men's souls. The sons of God will meet the sons of darkness and prevail. Wow. Let me put it another way. Hosea saw the same thing. He said this. They will come in awe to the Lord and to his goodness in the last days. In those days, they'll come trembling in their bodies to the eternal one and rediscover his goodness. Oh. So what is the end times? It's when God pours out his spirit on flesh. Yeah. It's what well, Isaiah said, in the end times, in the last days, many will go up into the mountain of the Lord. Uh -huh. We're looking at the wrong end time verses, by the way. Yeah, right, right. Most right. of the end time verses that Jesus gave were about what happened to Jerusalem in AD 17. Right. Right. Let's forget those, they've been fulfilled. Yes. Right. Yes. Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They saw yes. the greatest tribulation any nation ever had. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That's right. Yeah. That's right. Yeah. It's all been documented. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You know, when Jesus said these things will be fulfilled before this generation passes yeah. away, everything he said in that passage has happened. Mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah. Right. People being taken in the field out of beds. That's already happened. Yeah. 500 a day were crucified, taken yeah. from the fields. Yeah. The Antichrist that appeared outside the city already happened. 3,000 got killed. The nation surrounded Jerusalem yeah. already happened. They yeah. surrounded it yeah. and people didn't have any food. Yeah. Two million people died. Yeah. A million people got dispossessed. Yeah. The Christians escaped the city. Yeah. Yeah. Just like Jesus said, when you see these signs, escape the city yeah. and go to the hills of Judea. Yeah. It had to be for them because you couldn't run to the hills of Judea. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> And people are still waiting for the great tribulation. On, Jesus said this what that was the great tribulation because it was the end of the law. Yes. Because yes. up until that point the law carried on even though the cross had happened and the resurrection. Yeah. Yeah. So the great tribulation meant the end of law. Yeah. And people are still waiting for it to happen. Come on. It's just bad theology. It is. Very, very bad theology. Don't take scriptures out of context. That's right. Yeah. Listen to who he's talking to yeah. and the time frame he said it in. Yeah. Yeah. 
He said, these words will pass away before this generation ends. That's 40 years. It happened in exactly 40 years. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And, he, and they asked about the sign of his coming to Jerusalem and Israel. You can't run to the hills of Judea. You can't make that an American great tribulation, no matter how hard you try. Yeah, right, right, right. Why am I talking about that? Because that is another form of religion empowering death in the earth by saying it's always going to get worse. And yet my Bible says to the increase of his government and peace there will be no end. People keep saying I've got a whole preach on how the world's getting better. Just today, 250,000 people got fresh water for the first time. Just today, 350,000 people were lifted out of poverty today. Yeah, today, war is at the lowest level than at any time. Murder rates were 30 times higher in the Middle Ages than they are now. Yeah, come on. Come on. I could go on and on. Literacy, human rights, lifespan. Yeah, yeah. Lifespan's yeah. going up like that. Yeah. We've been praying for 2,000 years for heaven on earth, and then religionists come along and say it's going to get really bad. Yeah, yeah. Which bit of it said that the kingdom's like leaven? And what does it say? It says that the knowledge of his goodness, which is his glory, will cover the earth as the waters. That's another end time verse. It doesn't say that knowledge of tribulation and death will cover the earth. It says the knowledge of his goodness will cover the earth. We've got to get back onto what the gospel is. It's the glad message of the glory of the happy God. It is this no gloom and gloom in it. Jesus died one for all and all died into the law on our behalf for all of humanity. Amen. One died for all, therefore all died in him. Yes, yes, yes. There is now yes. no condemnation for those who are in Christ that's Jesus. Right, that's right, that's right. Yeah. No, come, on. come on. But who's in Christ Jesus? Because yeah. it said all fell in Adam, all live in Christ. I'm yeah. quoting scriptures. Yeah. Argue with me on scriptures, not what religion tells you. Right, yeah. right, right, right. Yeah. right. Yeah. Let's be biblical. I'm sick of people saying they're biblical and they're completely unbiblical. They yeah. don't know the Bible if it hit them in the face. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Anyway. It's nice to see everyone. <laughs> Pumpkin pie. <laughs> Pumpkin pie, anyone? <laughs> Listen, the world's get, getting better. That's why we've got electricity. Yeah. That's why we've got iPads, iPhones. That's why we've got hospitals. That's why we've got dentists. Uh -huh. yeah. That's why we've got a toilet. Yeah. <laughs> People are saying the end times are really bad while they're at McDonald's taking selfie. Yeah. <laughs> and trying to see which filter to use. We're having a really bad end times. Yeah. That's good. <laughs> Do you know, until this last century, women used to spend six hours a day preparing food. And men, it used to take 30 people to plow a single field manually. They now do it in three minutes with a machine. What took 30 men takes three minutes with a machine. It's really bad, eh, Thomas? <laughs> Why am I kicking against this? Because it's a big predominant yes, force in the is. culture yeah. that keeps framing up gloom and doom. Yeah. So all you yeah. see, and the fake news media are a part of it, they're the same spirit's religion. Mm. The media spirit is the same tree. The tree of the knowledge of good and evil. And that's all they want to tell you. How bad someone is, how good someone is. How bad someone is, how good someone is. And they want you to eat from that tree rather than come to the tree of life. The fountain of life, the immortal life, the incorruptible life, where, where all things are becoming beautiful. Where he's the author and perfecter of the faith. And he is going to finish what he started with the human race. And he's going to pour out his spirit. And it says in, in Psalm 22, verse 27, all the nations will turn and remember that God's going to deal with the memory issue. We've got to get rid of our engagement with this because inside of every one of us is Aleph, which is... Another word for God is God's blood. Yeah. Yes. I can show it for you. Because when you look at the word Adam, you've got the Aleph, you've got the Delet, and the Mem, right? Dam. What is Dam in Hebrew? Blood. What does Aleph mean? God. Hmm. 
So why are we unique in all of creation? Because we carry the record of Aleph's blood. The only thing. Angels do not have it. Right. Yeah. Animals don't have it. There is no other force in the cosmos, even in the celestial realms and interstellar places and the species that God's created throughout the cosmos. None of them are called Adam. None of them contain the record of being hidden in the Trinity. None of them have been co-included into the Trinity and seated above everything so they can fill everywhere. We are the only species in the cosmos that can go beyond the cosmos. Wow, and yeah. if you want a verse for Ephesians 4.10, it says that God, Jesus went through all the bottom layers to the depths, then went above all the layers out of creation so he could fill everything and be everywhere. And he did it for the church. Because you can only govern what you can access. So in him we live and move and have our being. So where is our home? In God. Because heaven and earth will pass away. That's never going to be our home. That's where we administrate God's kingdom into these dimensions. Right. Wow. Huh. wow. See, we come from the one. So the word Aleph is, you know, it's amazing. The Bible does not begin with the letter A. It begins with B. That's because the number one, which is the Lord our God is one, means the leader or the ox or the infinite one who is above it all. It's made of three parts, Father, Son, the Vav, and Holy Spirit. <coughs> and the Jews always wondered about that. How can... One be God, but God be three. Hmm. And the maths for it is 26. Because you've got the Yod, which is 10. The Vav, which is 6. And the Yod, which is 10. Which is the same as God's name. Yod, Hey, Vav, Hey. 10, 5, 6, 5, 26. Hmm. So we have Aleph's blood. That's what it meant with Adam. What does Eve's mean? Eve's, sorry, I'm trying to speak and be in the spirit at the same time. <laughs> what does Eve mean? You have to look at the Hebrew to see what it means. Her name is actually not Eve, it's Chava. And Chava means this, Chet, the first letter of her name is the pathway of life. So it's the same as Psalm 16 where it says, with you is the path of life. Okay? She is the one who carries the path of life. The second letter is Vav, which means she's connected to a higher realm to bring it through. And then it's He again to bring awe and wonder. So she was commissioned to be the one who brought the path of life from above to bring awe and wonder. That's what her name means. Adam's mean means, and her name was Adam as well, before Chava. It means the one who carries the resonant frequency of Aleph into the scene. Because the Aleph is unseen. The interesting thing about Aleph is the only Hebrew, it's the Hebrew letter that has no sound. So there's no A in Hebrew. The sound is this. It's the sound you make before any other sound. And it's the sound of breathing. Which is why it says, let everything that has breath praise the Lord. Because every time you breathe, you say, because you are living off him. Wow. You are moving off him. That's why Paul said to the pagans, he said, in him you live, in him you move, in him you have oh, your being. Yeah, 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 yeah. So even atheists are saying God's name over and over again. <laughs> it's the first noise a baby makes. Yes. And if you do die, and there's still glory on death, so this isn't a message of condemnation. It's a message of can we start to step towards a different yeah. way of thinking. That's right. yeah. yes. Can we even, let's even That's start right. with, could That's we have a day where you feel fully alive? Yeah. Could we have a day where you don't need to eat because you're full of life? Yeah, yeah, yeah. See, when someone dies, the last sound is... <sighs> yeah. We are immersed in the burning layers of the divine. Yes. <clears throat> This religion of separation has to go. Yeah. Send your glory, God. Yeah. No. It's already here. Yeah. Yeah. What it is, is your perception needs to change. Yeah. Yeah. See, Isaiah chapter 6 says, The whole of is full of your glory. 
Do you know how, how the cosmos exists? Where it is? It's inside God. Wow. So if you imagine this was just so, God is so dense with light, particles, and glory. This is what the Hebrews teach. You can read it in any of their theology books. Is that God had to just remove some of his essence to allow space for matter. So he created a realm inside him that's always expanding called Bereshit. Bereshit bara Elohim. In the beginning God created a house. Bait is the first letter. Why does it start with bait? Because it means in. It means family. It means house. The clue to immortality is held in the first word, even in the English Bible, where it starts with in. See, to understand the book, understand the first word. We've always been in. Always, always. That is the illusion we have to get rid of on earth. Is the illusion of separation from Yod Hei Vav Hei. For we are all breathing in Him, we are all living in Him, we are all found in Him. One died for all, therefore all died in Him. Let it sit on you for a minute. Yeah. Wow. Mm-hmm. <laughs> the Hebrew is Teshuvah, right? Mm-hmm. What does Teshuvah mean? It means return to the hay. The hay is the, the breath in God. Teshuvah's literal meaning. So when you recur the word repent in Scripture, it's Teshuvah. It means return to the hay or the breath or the grace of God. Because hey is number five for grace, and it's an open door. And it's in your hey va hey's name. So in other words, repentance means to return to the high place of being in his name. That's why it's got the idea of penthouse or going up. Because you're returning to where you came from, the breath. So repentance means live from where you came from. And what happened to Abraham? The hay manifested in his body. I'm going to end with this because I know I've hit you with lots. I've only just done like my good. first page. Yeah, it's good. It's good. <laughs> this is like one message in a ten-part series, and yeah. I'm on page two at the moment. Yeah. Because once you've seen this, you can't unsee it. Yeah. You can't. Yeah. You will go back into your Bible and you'll go, "How yes. did I not yes. see this?" That's right. It says in Psalm 92, "They'll be fresh and flourishing in old age." Yeah. It says, "He'll renew your youth. He'll give you length of days." Yeah. You start to see all things are possible with God and he wants life in your mortal body. He says he wants life to swallow up your mortal body. Yeah. Paul even said what we crave is this. He said not that we lose our body, that there are bodies swallowed by life. And he said this incredible thing. And this is what started me on this journey is the Lord spoke to me one day and he quoted Paul. He said, I tell you a mystery, not all of you will die. Yeah. And the word mystery there is mysterion, which means a truth that can only be understood from a higher dimension. Whenever you hear the word mystery in scripture, it means you have to go up to see it. So what happened to me? I went up. And you know we've been praying for heaven to come down. Right, right, right. I couldn't find death in heaven. Wow. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Right. That's right. Mm-hmm. right. That's right. That's right. That's right. That's right. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And I met Enoch and he gave me his this wine to drink. Mm-hmm. And it was oak wine and it went through my body and it took me into the spirit. And my, I went into an expanded state where I saw technology in the future. And I knew I'd drunk the verse that will be oaks of righteousness, a planting of the Lord for the display of his splendor. We will rebuild ruined places. We will be called repairer of the bridge. And we'll heal. And this was the bit they showed me, which blew me away. I hear the words architects, landscapers, designers coming out of heaven to create a new earth. But the thing that I saw was that last bit where it says... That you'll be called repair of the breach and you will heal the desolation of generations. And I've told you this before, that generations is genetics, that inside of you is desolation. 
from the fall. Yeah, yeah. But there's always been a dream in God's heart that there would come a day where your body would start to experience yeah. resurrection power and yeah. resurrection life. Yeah. Yeah. But it would no longer be subject. But the memory that you've got in you, which you've inherited, remember, none of your DNA is new. It's a big data yeah. processing yeah. system that's yeah. been given to you over the generations that's encoded by previous people's memories and experiences. Yes. Yeah. That's why you love sit by fire, right? Because mm. that used to be a source of warmth, protection in the previous <laughs> generation, right? That's how birds know flight plans. You know, you've got loads of genetic memory, right? Yeah. Yeah. But study the animal kingdom and tell me there's no genetic memory. The apple doesn't fall far from the tree. Yeah. <laughs> Where does it all come from? You've got this huge data bank that's been encoded with trauma, but he wants to start to address it by pouring out his spirit on flesh. See, the purpose of pouring out the spirit on flesh because it's because the issue is the body. Come on, come on, yeah. Come on, this yeah. makes sense. Yeah. See, we're yeah. See yeah. what it is is we're going for we're going yes. for the fruit rather than the root. Right. 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 right, See, I believe there's a time coming where you will be immune to sickness, yes. like John yeah. Lee. Yeah. Yeah. I'm not talking about needing healing. I mean, you can't. There's no genetic gateway. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> It's looking for where I can put corruption in, and there's nothing there. It's just illumination. Wow. Yeah. See, listen, if you don't believe this is true, think about this. Do we believe in the manifestation of the sons of God? Yes. yes. Yeah. Yeah. Well, what does the verse say? All creation is groaning for the revelation of the sons of God to free them from death and decay. Yes. Yeah. How can we free creation if we're still under death yeah, and decay? Right, right. Right. So every yeah. time someone's prophesied in America, the sons of God are coming, right. we could add to that, the immortal ones are coming. Wow. Yeah. Wow. Wow. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. 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 Come on, we know this. Alice yeah. Blood in you says you were never made for death. Yeah. Yeah. It says that he does not delight in the death. He, he puts before you, choose life. Choose the tree of life. What if we begin to change the story and maybe it will take a while. Maybe we'll all die. But if we can bring our children into a different mindset yes, and we can yes, start to create yes, a different yes, city, yes, we can start to think transgenerationally yes, yes, and we stop having the language of condemnation and we stop having the language of law and sin yes, and death and we start to see that he who the sun sets free is free, free to live and move in him, free to walk with angels, free to be in the heavens. Yes. Because, as Bill Johnson says, and it's always good to quote Bill Johnson, oh, just yes. make a proper meeting. Yes. <laughs> Bill Johnson says this, and it's a powerful thing. He was preaching on what does it look like to have a fully renewed mind. Because surely that's what we're going for. He said this powerful statement. He said, transfiguration is the pattern of the fully renewed mind. In other words, we will know our minds renewed when our bodies yeah. start to shine. Yeah. Wow. So the debate has to change. The debate has to change. I was just in Germany in this place, dude, where they had all these pictures of these saints with their heads off, yeah. where they preached, yeah. with their heads cut off. Yeah. They're awesome. That hasn't happened for a while. Right. <laughs> <laughs> I'm named after one, St. Justin in Wales. I've been wow. to where he died. Wow. He carried his head and walked and chose yeah. where he was going to die. <laughs> he built a church there. Is that awesome? <laughs> I think we've got to stop waiting for new moves and start engaging truth. Yeah. Yeah. Come on. Because if we yeah. keep waiting for new moves, we're externalizing it and saying that what I just said, it can't be so. And the problem with the, with the Western church is it's, it's addicted to the idea that it's outside. When yeah. Jesus himself, and we're not following Messiah. We're not, we're following pastors. We're following trends. We're not yeah, following yeah. what the Bible says. Well, it says yeah, the kingdom's yeah. within you. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. yeah. And in Christ, you will be given fullness. Yes. So yeah. why do we keep yes. praying yeah. be filled up? Because that is an idea of separation immediately. Yeah. Yeah. And it produces permission for decay. Yeah. Oh, wow. Mm. Good. Huh. Amen. 
This isn't going to be popular, I know that. There's going to be a bit of a riot off the back of these tunes. But listen, Einstein said, doing the same old thing over and over again and thinking it's going to change is insanity. I would like to propose to you the Western church is insane. It has forgotten where it's been birthed from. It's forgotten the tomb that he conquered death and he conquered the grave and the saints popped out and the earth responded. This cannot be mediocre anymore. This can't be lambing, pambing, pussyfooting stuff anymore. This has to be preaching the good news. Yeah. We're not going into a tribulation. We're going into planet joy. The knowledge of his goodness will cover the earth. As though, for you know the plans I think towards you. Yeah. Plans to prosper you yeah. and yeah. not to harm you. Yeah. Plans to give you a hope and a bright future. Yeah. What if the America's not going to be destroyed? Yeah. <laughs> what if actually America's awesome? Yeah. <laughs> Honestly, if I hear another person moaning about how bad it is in America, I'm just going to beat them up myself. <laughs> <laughs> With a pumpkin pie or something. <laughs> Because this is a nation saturated in his goodness. Yeah, there are challenges, but look how prosperous and blessed and honoured you are. This, no, people are not dying of famine here. They're dying of overeating. Hello! to tear down the structures that are producing limitations of energy. We need to move to a limitless energy economy. Yes, 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 yes. It will solve all the issues. Yeah. It will. Yeah, yeah, we'll yeah. be able to recycle everything, yeah. go instant stellar, all yeah. sorts. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, you know, Abraham did go to the stars. says the Lord lifted him up into the heavens and look at all the stars. The cosmos is part of this. And it's all waiting. I just dare to believe. Come on, come on. I dare to believe it all. I'm not going to allow my present experience right. the truth to be right. the determining factor because yeah. we would never have got to where we are right now if someone didn't believe I can harness photons if someone believed I can use the resonant frequency of crystals to yeah. produce timing within processes yeah. uh-huh. everything we're sitting on right now has been dreamed by someone right. that dared to challenge that is sitting on planks or you're sitting on yeah. or you're riding a horse I think it's time that we disturb yes. the present to create a better future. Come on, yeah. come on. Wow. Yeah. Come on. Yeah. And I don't care how disturbed we get, the future's worth it. Yes. yes. The future's worth yes, it. Yes, it is. Amen. Yes. 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 Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> How about that? Was it was it awesome? How do you guys know that, that the most important thing that we need to protect is our perspective? That's right. That's Unless right. our that perspective is, right. is ungodly. That's right. And if our perspective is ungodly, then we need to allow it to be sh- to, to shift. Yeah, yeah and, and to allow our perspective to come into alignment with the perspective of the Father. Some of the things that I love about uh, Justin in his teaching is that there's so many opportunities to change our perspective yeah. and to begin to value a new thought yeah. and, uh, and so and, and I, I love it how many of you felt like uh, fortresses of thought that have been established that, 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 that have not been of God yeah. being crushed and how many of you like how many of you that heard, heard the crushing of those fortresses of thought and all of a sudden because of that you have the capability of thinking a new thought and thinking a higher thought how do you know that his thoughts are higher than, 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 than our thoughts but it, I, I just I just love it when those when those 
paradigms, that those things that, 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 that aren't even in the Bible, yeah. you know what I'm saying? <laughs> uh, all of a sudden get crushed like an egg, and all of a sudden there's, there's the ability to see higher yeah. and, and, and to know more. Isn't that awesome? Yeah. Isn't that awesome? Yeah. Isn't it awesome to think that there's so much freedom in Christ Jesus? Yeah. There's so much freedom. That in his heart, there's so much freedom. And, and that's what's so terrifying sometimes. As we think, what are we going to do with all this freedom? What are we going to do with all this light? What are we going to do if, we don't, if we're not afraid? You know, because how many know that sometimes you can get so used to living in, in a right. state of fear, right. in a posture right. of fear, that when yeah. someone takes your fear, you're like, how am I going to live? Yeah. How am I going to live without you? <laughs> <laughs> I want to know, you know. Will people come to know Jesus without, without the spirit of fear? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> Yes, they will. They will. They will. They will. And so I just, I, I, yeah, it's so awesome. It's so awesome to be a part of what God is doing and to be a part of what God is doing here in, 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 in this place. Jesse? Should we do just a tiny activation? Yeah, that'd be awesome. Okay. It's going to shock you how you act. I've had incredible energy miracles and beyond the body experiences, but they've all come through very simple, simple methods. You know, mysticism shouldn't be complicated. You know, because Jesus himself said, unless you become like a child, yeah. you cannot see the kingdom. Yeah. Yeah. Now, I have like really strong experiences with God yeah. that even affect technology sometimes yeah. because yeah. my spiritual power up. Right. And, and I'll sometimes spend hours in those conditions and then God will take me places and do stuff. But the way it happens is so simple and it's just through that simple idea that I'm in him mm -hmm. and he's in me. <laughs> and you enjoy it. Yeah. So I don't really try and do much for God. Yeah. He doesn't need me to do anything. He needs me to abide in Him. Mm -hmm. And it says of yourself, you can do nothing. Yeah, that's right. Yeah? That's right, that's right. So what I do is I just have a very simple protocol. I mean, Kava means I entangle into you. And Godfrey's yeah. written a beautiful song on that's it. Awesome. Yeah. Where he took the prayer I wrote and made it into music. But the prayer I wrote was for myself. And the prayer was this. I just said, I entangle into you. <laughs> Your life is my life. Your strength is my strength. I entangle into you. Your joy is my joy. Your health is my health. I entangle into you. And it started by me understanding that I'm in him. And he's in me. And it produces sweetness. Like I'm crying now because of it. What breaks my heart is you have it. You already have it. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Yeah. But you're not enjoying it. Right. Yeah. The degree that you joy and enjoy it is the degree that you'll access it. Remember that the chief end of man, it says, is to enjoy God. Yeah. That's Christian Orthodox theology. It says the chief end of man is to glorify God by enjoying him forever. What you enjoy is what will... will have weight around you, you'll glorify him to the degree you enjoy him. See, Enoch enjoyed God. Yes, so good. Moses enjoyed God. Yeah. Elijah enjoyed God. John enjoyed God. Stop trying to serve God. Start enjoying God. Yeah. <laughs> because what you enjoy, you will glorify. Ah. So just drop... Get rid of every other thought now yeah. of performance orientation. <laughs> now just come into this very simple state. It's called the prayer of simplicity. Yeah. Where it's just sweetness. Yeah. Just enjoy, taste and see. Yeah. All, it's already in scripture. Jesus said the new covenant is, a, is wine. Yeah. Jeez. And what's in the wine? His blood. And what is his blood? Life. Life is in the blood. And how? what happens if you drink wine? You get a bit fuzzy-headed, a bit tipsy. You start to enjoy yourself. And this is again is why religion will trigger over joy. If we started travailing right now, religion will say, that's brilliant. If we're all going, oh God, God, oh. Go, wow, God really moved tonight. But if you're all there going, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, 
<laughs> Religion, and I know this from first-hand experience, triggers because. But what what's hidden in the technology of joy? Strength. Wow. And what does it say? Laughter is good medicine. The, the joy of the Lord is your strength, and in His presence is fullness of joy. But religion is, is the cult of grumpy. <laughs> so let's just do a tiny activation. Trust me, okay, let me just tell you this. This is how the Lord explained it to me. Have you ever seen a snowflake land on your hand and thought, that's beautiful? That's how honoring God is. That's why it starts with the yod. The yod is, means the smallest dot. So God's name starts with an infinitely small dot. Why? Because how you handle the little is how you'll handle the much. Wow. So good. Yeah, right? So God's name starts with this humble posture of yeah. yod, which is the dot, right? Now, if you love a snowflake, God will give you more snow. If you continue to have an atmosphere of snow, it'll start to rest on you like a tree with snow. And then it can give you an avalanche, which is like an ecstasy. But how you handle that snowflake determines whether you get the avalanche. Because right. they don't realize it comes in such a simple form. Right. It comes in a very gentle, gentle way. So right now, focus on the gentle presence of God that's in here, on you and in you. It's there. And then the prayer that I, I prayed is, I'll just lean in. It's so beautiful. I feel, just, I feel more honored telling you this than anything else. Is I just go in my prayer room and I'm like, I'm in you. And I see myself in him. And I go, and you're in me. I just lean back. I love you. <laughs> you love me. I'm one with you. You're one with me. I'm in you. Just enjoy it. Lean into it. Lean backwards. You're in me. I'm in you. You're in me. Your innocence <coughs> is my innocence. Your life is my life. Your strength. <laughs> is my strength. See, so remember, so since we're receiving a kingdom, we're receiving it. Well, what I've seen in the charismatic movement, we're always trying to take things rather than receive things. Just receive his love. See, Paul said, the love that God has for me leaves me no choice. God doesn't need you to love him. You can't love God. It says, we love because he first loved us. So what triggers you loving God? Letting God really love you. See, we're all trying to do stuff for God rather than let God love us. That's why God made you, so that he can love you. And your love for him is a response to realizing that he really loves you. So what I used to say to the Lord is, Lord, I put a target on my heart. Give it your best shot. <laughs> I say, your love, you win. Do your best. <laughs> and you guys know I got a lot of joy. I was just in a conference with 450 people. People were hanging off my body. We had body pileups. But where was I getting from? Someone walked up to me at the end and said, you must be tired. Do you want me to pray for you to be filled up? <laughs> Because that's how people think, that yeah. somehow I'm leaking, and it's running out. <laughs> Do you know I ministered for hours, and I can honestly say, I was no more tired than when I first went in the room, because I did not move from my own efforts. I just stayed in the creamy cream, in the jello of heaven's donuts, swimming around, <laughs> eating sugar. 
<laughs> it's so offensive, isn't it? I know this, this is deep mystical theology. I could give you quotes from all the heroes of the faith that back this up with different language. Yeah. What's happened is we've gone off track. Yeah, that's right. That's right. Christianity's been hijacked. Yeah. Yeah. Let's get Christianity back. Yeah, yeah. Come on. Yeah. We're meant to be full of bliss and joy and cream and goodness and happiness. Yeah. And we're meant to be intoxicated on the fatness of his house. Yeah. So let's do it one more time, okay? So just come on, bear with me. Come on, work with me. You guys are not... Come on, help me here. <laughs> it, it, people getting offended or am I getting structures in the spirit? What is it? Now, what, what are we hitting? What we're hitting is the programming that's gone on. Right, right, yeah. Remember they call meetings programs? Yeah, yeah. Yeah. And they call TV <laughs> programs. Yeah, yeah, that's right, that's right. And the news programs. Yeah, yeah, that's right. So what we're trying to do is we're trying to put God's yeah. love is the antivirus software that right. yeah, right. <laughs> yeah. clears out your hard drive with innocence. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Wow. Okay, I'm just gonna say it. It's controversial. God's forgotten the bad things you did. He says that he, he will not bring to remembrance as far as the east is from the west, he's removed them. So stop yeah. thinking about something that God's forgotten. That's right. That's right. Innocence. Yeah. Innocence That's right. is the language of life. Yeah. You're innocent. 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 You're in. You've always been in. The first word you said when you were born was his name. You've always been in. He died and included you without asking your permission. He says he chose you before the foundation of the world. And he loves you. Just breathe in God's presence. Now let, let everything out. Just let go of everything. Let go of all your worries, all your fears. Feel your, your, your gates opening. Yeah. That's it. Wow, just let everything go. Thank you, Jesus. Yeah. <laughs> it's okay, crying is a form of whack as well. I call that crying whack. <laughs> I do a lot of that. A lot. Remember, if you are crying, you're sowing in tears, so you're going to reap. I was just with Paul Keith Davis. He, he went through like a horrible situation in his life and incredible pain, and he cried and cried. But God's just done such a restoration. His body's healed. He's got a beautiful new wife. And I, and, I, and I just stopped halfway through my preaching and I pointed at him and said, those who sow in tears wow. will reap in joy. Yes. Thank you, Lord. Yeah. <coughs> <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I really feel that, you know, this is the time of things are going to really open up for you in the spirit. God always wrote in you the mystical heart like Catherine of Siena, and you've had hints and flavors of it, but it's just going to open up around you now to a greater measure than ever before. So I thank you. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord.
<laughs> Some of you, what's pulling you out is time consciousness, which means you're still under the timeline. So just step out of the timeline. What I mean by that is let time serve you. Don't any time miracles. I do whole teachings on time. Remember, it says redeem the time. That's right. Yeah. That's right. That's right. Yeah. Imagine there wasn't a clock. That's right. Yeah. And just enjoy him again. What if I said to you right now, you have all the time in the world? Yeah. <laughs> what is time? It's just an energy. Redeem the time. The word there means take the power of time. It's an energy. Yeah. He's put eternity in your heart, which means he's put the energy of time in your heart. So why are you serving time? That's right. That's right. That's right. Just be free from it. Be free from it. Yeah. Thank you. Now, untether from your own energy. Untether from food. Time and food go together. Have you noticed that? Dinner time, lunch time, breakfast time. Yeah. What if you have all the food you need inside you right now? Yeah. Live in manna. And you're free from time. Your body will try and trick you and say, if you don't eat right now, you're going to die. <laughs> I can tell you that's genetic memory from when food was scarce. If you didn't eat for the rest of the week, you'd be fine. You've been triggered by someone else's experience that's competing with the truth. You're not going to die from starvation right now. They're all illusions. You'll, you'll realize this. Time, locality, death, they're all illusions. We've got to come out from under those illusions. Right. <coughs> Jesus said, I have food to eat you know not of. Yes. Many of the saints didn't need to eat. Or sleep. Where do we get energy from when we sleep? The higher dimension. So just come back to that one idea, I'm in you. <clears throat> and then you come into Psalm 23, which is that I am with my shepherd. I have everything I need. And then it unlocks this, that he restores your soul. So your body starts to get restored when you're with him and in him. He, That's right. he lays you down in green right. pastures. That's right. So you're rested. He prepares a table in the presence of your enemy, so you feast him. He intoxicates you with his cup till it overflows. Goodness and love then follow you, and you dwell in the house of the Lord forever, so you become multidimensional. So part of you stays in, always. And you start to become an Emmy. <laughs> What triggers Psalm 23, the technology of those verses, is being with him. The little lamb in, the, in his arms, where you have no needs. Let go of every need right now. You might be wondering why I'm talking about this, because I'm actually, what I'm doing is I'm breaking down what kavar is. Kavar is letting go of your needs. It means abandoning all your needs and being in him. See, the modern charismatic church is always based on needs. I need a prophecy. I need the healing. I need this. Kavar is not those. If you want to learn Kavar, if you've come to learn Kavar, I'm trying to teach you a deeper truth, which is that you have everything you need in him. That's right. His life is your life. That's right. He can give you, in a moment, your whole scroll can expand in your consciousness right. like a sunbeam right. right. on a flower when you're in his presence. I get most of my teachings through... Infused knowledge. Remember prophecy, scripture said it for children. You know, we prophesy in parts for the immature, 
love is the fulfillment, love is a person. So when it says love is the more excellent way, it means being in union is the most excellent way with love, yeah. where you've got everything. Yeah. Yeah. See, prophecy often means separation. Right. And it served a purpose, but there has to be a generation that, that are no longer seeking prophecy. That's right. And I know that's hard because people are addicted to it. <laughs> like sugar. <clears throat> and I'm not trying to insult it, I just prophesied now, but I'm trying to say that there's a realm where you, your body will be filled with revelation. Mm. And you're just sitting in the chair. Yes. <laughs> so just see yourself in the light right now yeah. see yourself in the light you're in the light and what is that light doing to your body right now it's affecting your DNA it says if we walk in the light, the blood cleanses us. So blood and light are the same thing. And it says it cleanses you from unrighteousness, which means it. Let your DNA, open up your DNA to him now if you want. What I do is I just see it like this, like a big strand, and I open it. Because it says you'll have a bride without spot or blemish. That's the trauma in your DNA. Okay, because on, on DNA it looks like spots. So just open up your DNA in front of God now. Lord, just pour out your light on the record of trauma, death, and flood it with light. Tiredness, tiredness, genetic triggers, into your blueprint. That as you are, so am I in this world. As you are. That you are the authentic blueprint of my design. You are the authentic blueprint of my design. Yes. 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 You see his DNA now moving towards yours. Like energy ribbons fusing together. That's kavar. It means two ropes becoming one. I want you to picture right now Jesus' DNA moving towards you. And it's entangling into you. That as he is, so are you. Now just allow your spirit to expand and fill up with it. Expanding out of your body. You flooded and filled with God. That's it. It says you will tremble at his goodness in the last days. How many are you starting to tremble a bit now? Do you know why you're trembling? It says in Hosea 3, 5, because the knowledge of his goodness is penetrating your DNA. Yeah. 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 There's a whole lot of shaking going on in our DNA. <laughs> yeah. 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 Elvis prophesied it. <laughs> <laughs> and that's why people screamed. <laughs> No, that, that, that's why they scream because the, the repressed DNA popped and that's why technology boomed and arts and fashion because when he released the frequency he said there's a whole lot of shaking going on he released the sound and this wave pattern it popped generational gateways and a whole generation screamed Lord, I'm including my body in this. Come on, length of days. Lord, I ask for youthful miracles to start coming in this room right now. Clearing out arteries, clearing out dendrites and axons, clearing out neural pathways, regenerating memory, regenerating marrow. Right now, Father, we speak into the bone marrow that you start to create the frequency of the blood of Jesus in people's bodies. Even blood types would be changed supernaturally. As a sign of what Lord, I ask for energy to flood people's bodies. Life. Lord, I ask that people would notice in next year and the year after they look younger than they did today. Yes. Lord, renewal of strength. I'm asking for expansion of aging right now. Renewal of energy. 
Renewal of the body. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Life. 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 Scripture says that the latter glory of his house, and we are his house, will be greater than the former. The body is the temple of the Holy Spirit. Life come now. Regeneration. Lord, I'm asking that some people go for eye tests and they'll say you don't need such strong glasses. Wow. Ligaments. Just see Jesus flooding your body with light. This is reality. This is kabah. This is what we should be doing every day. Is regenerating, strengthening yourself in the Lord. I'll just finish with this funny story. I was in uh, South Africa and there was this cute little dog. And, um, and uh, I think it was South Africa, it might be somewhere else. And it was this, I thought it was a puppy. So I said, is this dog a puppy? And it was like one of those small dogs. They said, no, this, this dog's like 12, 13 years old. And I said, it's really embarrassing because when they find other dogs in the rage, they're all decrepit and they're all arthritic. And I said, well, how, how are you doing that with your dog? They said, well, it's easy. We, we called it Enoch. <laughs> I kid you not. By speaking that over that dog, that dog, I thought, was like two or three years old. And it was full of life. It looked cute. It looked young. Because they, they said we deliberately framed up over it. Like, Father, I speak, let's speak over each other. Enoch, Lord, release that Enoch mandate and Enoch generation. That will not come into the law anymore of sin and death, but will come into the law of the spirit of life. What if you live to a 200? What if you live to 300? What if you look younger next year than you do now? What if you start to be like that Enoch dog and you look way younger than your friends? What if they don't believe your passport dates anymore? <laughs> Life. Just put your hand on something, right? Begin to release life. 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 Length of days. Length of days. Length of days. Some of you are going to start new careers. How about starting a new career at 80? How about starting a new career and getting requalified? How about starting a second career? Shaka, Rampa, Boske, Deske, Deske, go back to university, get another job, another career, come on, Jesus, life, Lord, break now, break now, break now the mindsets that are limited, prohibited, I bless your marriage right now, I bless your marriage right now. Lord, I call for marriage miracles. If people are having problems in the bedroom, we call for life in the bedroom. Glory. I'm being serious. It's a big deal. Lord, right now we bless marriages. We pray that our marriages will be supernatural marriages, full of glory like Abraham. Yay. Life. Lord, we, we, we repent now. We change our thinking on aging. Where we've agreed with aging, where we've trained into aging, we say, Lord, I'm breaking up with that concept. And Lord, I say, life is going to flood this body. Life is going to flood my children. My children will live extra long lives. My plants will be filled with life. My animals will be filled with life. Shakara, the, and the plants will get regenerate in my atmosphere. Yes. That my dog, my cat, I bless you right now. I release life over you, strength over you. That's right, that's right, that's right. Shakara, Baba, Bomba, Bomba, Bomba. How many of you guys grow vegetables? Father, we pray right now for veggie miracles in Jesus' name. I've, I've seen veggie miracles. Lord, I thank you for life coming back into the, the land. Life coming back. Life coming back to animals. Life coming back to nature. To the weather. 
Shaka Mashke Tishke So you start to feel it thicker, right? More of it. The thing is, it's like how far do you want to go in there? Let's just, let's just. Yeah. 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 Farther. Yeah. Yeah. Lord, I ask for collagen to come into people's skin. More collagen, Lord, in Jesus' name. Life. 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 Father, right now, fertility come. If there are people that are struggling with fertility. Shaka, mashka, reshka, poshka, pashka, pashka, collagen. Clearing of the arteries. Anyone with heart conditions, Father, we speak life into the heart right now. Clearing of the arteries, clearing of the veins, clearing of the blood system. So many of you are going to have an amazing medical report. And not just because of this, but because you're engaging Jesus. It's not because of an event, it's because you're believing. Yeah, life on your heart. Length of day yes. on your heart. Why am I yes. in the bedroom? Yes. 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 <laughs> yeah, I got it. Yay! Yeah. Let's not be afraid. Listen, remember Abraham's covenant was it was marriage bliss. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah That's yeah, what yeah. it was. It was glory yeah, in the bedroom. Yeah, let's yeah, not yeah, make yeah, yeah, let's yeah. not be religious about that. We should have the yeah. best, most action packed bedrooms in yeah. any yeah. community. Yes. yes. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. People have got to start to see glory on union and glory on marriage. Yeah. Come on, shaka rabba, because that's life. That's Abraham's covenant. Or, or we're gonna have dead marriages. No, we're gonna have awesome marriages, awesome relationships. Shaka, that's life coming. It's gonna affect everything right now. I speak over your finances, life. Where death has cast a shadow. No, we speak life right now. We speak life, supernatural miracles of finances, breakthroughs of finances, inheritance come. Inheritance come. Lord, that we will own lands, we will own homes, we will be debt free. We are calling for a debt free church, a debt free generation. Oh, the, the, the system is cracking of death. Yeah. Whoa. Open, 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 open. Yeah. Shaka. Shishkin. Now, Father, we ask for angelic appointments. Angelic. We open our hearts to the angels. We apologize for separation. I ask now, Lord, that it will become normal in this group of people that for you, you will walk with angels. You will talk with angels just like Jesus. That this would not even be considered unusual anymore in this generation. We would not even think twice about it. Oh, angels. Jacob's ladder open. Angels ascending and descending on your body. Remember your body is Jacob's ladder. And it's how they access this dimension. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Open, 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 open. Lord, we thank you for the cloud of witnesses. We, we invite them to come and teach us. It says they are witnesses, which means they have permission to speak. Jesus stood with Moses and Elijah, and we think we can do it without the cloud of witnesses. We can't. What's coming next? There are, there are people in the cloud of witnesses that know about immortality. Enoch knows about it. There are those on the earth that don't die. We need to encounter them. There's the Maharishi of Kailash, 450 years old. There's two people in Chicago that are 200 years old. There are other people in this nation that know immortality. And I want to be connected. I don't want to live a natural life where that kind of thing doesn't happen. I want to live a life where there can be a knock on the door and it's someone that is hundreds of years old that's coming to you. And if you don't think that's possible, remember with God, all things are possible. I, I'm saying in the spirit right now, I want to meet some of these people. I want there to be gatherings where those people are the ones talking and saying, I have walked with the Lord for 500 years. You think that's not happening already because you haven't seen it. That's right. That's right. That's right. You haven't seen Andromeda is still there. Yeah. Yeah. 
<laughs> well, some of us. <laughs> Let's not talk about that right now. <laughs> I'm being really serious. Yeah. You think this is going to be a normal era to be alive? This yeah. is not a normal time. It says, arise and shine yeah. for your light has come. Yeah. And the glory of the Lord rises upon you and nations are going to come. This isn't going to be evangelism like we've done it. There's going to be something so spectacular that starts to happen in this generation. Where we illuminate with light. We've got to stop waiting for, for permission. Permission's been given from heaven. Jesus is the yes and amen of God that says all of his promises are yes. And amen. See in the crowd all your witnesses, yes. Seeing angels, yes. yes. Immortality, yes. yes. Moving through dimensions, yes. yes. Ascending and descending, yes. yes. Seeing the mysteries yes. of heaven, yes. 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 This is good pleasure to give you the mysteries. This is good pleasure. Yes. It's all yes and amen. Yes. And we are saved in this place tonight. This is a yes culture. Yes. like eagles. Thank you. Even gravity is not going to hold this generation down, Lord. We are coming out from terror into gravity. Gravity in space-time will not be able to contain us. Time miracles, Lord. I pray now. Time supernatural teleportation. Time miracles. You doing something in half an hour that should take all day. That's life. Yes. That's living in a new creation yes, life. I've yes, done many yes, time miracles. Yes. We come out right now, Lord, from the slavery to time. Yes. We will redeem the time. Yes. Lord, we come out from it being under gravity and be bogged down under the weather. Whoa. Out from space, out from time, out from the genetic covering. The order of Melchizedek says it's without father or mother. What that means is the genetic structure of the order of Melchizedek yeah. means you do not carry yeah. the trauma from those generations. It's the same as Abraham says, come out of the house of your father and mother and, and leave their name. Yeah. That means lose the genetics you've had and lose the name you've had and come under a new name in a new land with a new covering, with a new house of genetics called Yeshua, your Hevahe's genetics, your, without beginning or without end, a priesthood forever after the order of Melchizedek. Lord, right now, we stop looking back. We are not looking back to the Levitical. We are not looking back to previous moves. We honor them. But they died. Yeah, we honor them. We want those yeah. ingredients. But I'm, yeah. I'm not making a point that because yeah. I'm massively into honoring the saints absolutely. of the past. Absolutely. But, you know, as yeah. just with Paul Key Davis, we yeah. talked at length about this and Ray Hughes. Yeah. We are coming to something totally. Yes. Yeah. Yes. <sighs> yes. 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 People have been prophesying it for 50 years. Thank you, Father. Whoa. <laughs> Lord, we honor Melchizedek in this place. We say we want to learn the ways of Melchizedek. We want to know the function of Melchizedek. We want to know how to live. Yay! Beyond genetics, beyond the name like Abraham. Whoa! Coming out from the genetic covering that we've been given. Coming out. Coming out, coming out into the Father's genetics. You've been seeded, it says. Listen, Peter said this, you have been seeded, so there's a seed in you called incorruptible seed, it says. Lord, we water that seed tonight. We say that that seed 
It says the cares and worries of the world choke the seed. So what we apologize for choking the seed, and we say that seed is now going to take over the house. That seed, that incorruptible, immortal seed that's inside me, called the new creation, we water it tonight. We say there is space for you. There is room for you. Oh, seed, grow. Oh, plants, grow. Oak of righteousness, grow. Beyond human limitation. Beyond ethnicity. Beyond gender. Beyond your education level. You have the mind of Christ. You have everything you need. You are, you are flooded and filled with life. Shua! Shua! Lord, we say we're beginning to believe that all things are new. Oh, <laughs> harness the energy of, of, of that river and and um, and I just saw like I just saw the just the river of God and I saw the big like the big wooden turbines that were that were catching catching the river of God and then turning that into energy um, uh, and, I was, and then I was just thinking about you know the, 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 the amazing thing about Nikolai Tesla is that he is that he came up with the most efficient way to transfer energy um, he came up with the most efficient way to get energy from a dam into a city um, and, and and so thank God for him, right? Yeah. And and what I felt like, what I felt like is, <laughs> what if? <laughs> hold on, we're gonna get there, Justin. Yeah, we're gonna get there. What if? What if we all had these big turbines inside of us generating energy? And what if we could come into that place of agreement, where we, where where we release that energy, we release that ri that that river energy, the river of life into the person's. <laughs> And the person standing next to you. <laughs> so, so if you know the person, put your arm around them. If you don't, don't freak them out. Just take, the, just put your hand on their shoulder, and let's just allow for, yeah, 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 for there to be a transfer of some energy. <laughs> 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 oh, 